let's uh, check out Last Stand, shall we? If you want to play Last Stand with me. So this, uh, this is a game I remember I designed for a few days. Uh, yeah, I designed, I did ten a 10 day prototype to make this game. Yeah, that's what it was, 10 days. And I was writing a devlog after each one as well. So uh, let me just open this in the right um, browser. So Last Stand was a game, again, designed for mobile, where you're meant to be looking at um, kind of uh, combining match three with a tower defense game. So let's open this full. Oh, it doesn't work full. Okay, let's zoom in. <laughs> it was a prototype, so we didn't quite finish, right? So the idea is that you got enemies. You got a tower that's currently shooting. Uh, we we got to make lines. When we get make lines, it heals our castle, right? But you can also heal uh, make lines that have symbols on them. Uh, so uh, if we scroll down just a little bit, you'll see that we've got these spell bars at the bottom that are kind of loading up. So uh, okay, let's let's just do some match three for a bit, shall we? Uh, let's bring this one in for a, tri a double two way. Oh, we did have a four there, but we're we're matching all over the shop. We'll do that. So we got a lot of them lining up at the top. So you can like use your fire spell. Fire is an AOE, it'll attack all lanes at once. So, okay, we've learned what the fire is. But these little orc icons means you summon a, a big... Uh, you want to avoid those ones. That means it, it brings a, a line of update, upgraded uh, minions to that level, to that kind of uh, lane, sorry. So, uh, we're okay. We're, we're, we're just going to build up some of our spells. What do we want? Fire. we got fire there. We can maybe get another fire there. Okay, we're almost at full... Yeah, we're at full fire. Let's use that. Kabow! <laughs> Smashes all of them out. That's good for me. We got another, we can level that up a bit. So what else have we got? Let's try and use the other colors that we've got. So we, uh, we'll we work up this ice block one. And then we've got, uh, I think it's poison assassination maybe as well. Oh, wow, what a combo. Still going. All right, that was a good one. Yeah, okay, so we've got massive poison now. So let's chuck poison. We've got a big golem thing coming up there. So we'll chuck some uh, poison down there. And we'll put an ice block here that blocks that one. Oh, you can upgrade as well. Uh oh, okay. Uh, we're, we're getting killed really fast. We've got to try and just heal a sec through just doing this. Uh, I, I can't remember the mechanic. Okay, we can assassinate the biggest enemy in that lane. Oh, no, it's not assassinate. Oh, it's a, a whole lane clear. I forgot about that. The black color is great. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, we, can, we don't need to use fire yet. Uh, we want to try and get yellow built up a bit if we can. Double yellow on that one. That is good. Okay, we could do with maybe, yeah, we could use fire here. We got them on all way, lanes. That cleared that off nicely. Uh, what are we going for? We could get a bit of blue down here. Okay, we got an assassinate. So assassinate will kill the biggest health enemy in the lane. So when a big enemy spawns, it's a good way to kind of counter that. Um, so let's wait. Okay, there's a bit, there's a chief one there who's just come at it. So let's use that on this lane. It tells you what the enemy's going to be, and it assassinates him, which is cool. Uh, this should help get us close to the, the top level of this, so we can clear this big lane. Kapow, like that. Wonderful. The resolution's a bit balked, because I'm, I'm zoomed in at the moment, because uh, we didn't really design it to be played, or I didn't really design it to be played on mobile. Okay, so you see a, a big enemy just came, because I, I got an orc on the tile accidentally there. Uh, we can get this for double yellow. Uh, we could probably do it just blocking. Let's block that lane a bit. Um, Nice. Okay, so while the combos are going, we, we could try and upgrade enough. We don't have another upgrade, actually. So you can make it so that it, it just automatically will go for different kind of lanes. So if one lane is built up, like this lane, I can focus on that one if I wanted to. We're going to upgrade our turret fire rate. We're going to clear this lane. Uh, we will drop some poison here as well so that they get damage when they come towards it. And then we need to... Uh -oh. Find some lines quickly. So again, just like Funner Runner, it was kind of combining uh, different game mechanics and seeing how they work together. Uh-oh, we're going to die. We're going to die if we're not careful. The combo is strong. Oh, no. Okay, get that. I don't care if, if we get nasties with us. Got to get that. Uh, this can get into there if we get time. Come on. Come on. Hang on. We can probably use a spell to help us here. Oh, that, that saved our backsides. Okay, we need to assassinate that. Uh, poison cloud down here. Uh, so it didn't have balance, which meant that in the end, uh, if you upgrade your tower enough, it's just ill-defend itself. 
Uh, let's just make this go auto at the moment. Uh, we need to explode everything quickly. Uh, so I thought about uh, like it, the design would be interesting if um, you. I think the idea of if all of these were people, I think was the kind of the kind of aesthetic I was hoping to achieve would be like if you imagine them all being people, and you're you're rearranging the people in your king. So this is in the middle of your tower. And then you've got the game around you and each of the, like with the enemies hitting the doors and that. Um, so you drag like groups of people together so that they can go off and do their different tasks. So there's a bit of a thematic concept of it as well. It'd be fun to redo as a PC sort of game. It, I don't know whether it has much longevity. It's a bit of a, like a simple game that you could just spam some time on, you know, but at the same time, uh, I thought it was quite, a, quite a bit of fun. Uh, I really liked some of the mechanics I had in it. It's not worth using that one at the moment. We'll block, we'll use ice to block those for a sec. Most interesting match I've seen, no capo. Thank you. A play store hit waiting to, be, to have money from. Make it a versus game where you send enemies as well. Yeah, that could be an interesting one. Yeah, uh, like I really like this. I really like this, but we were in a phase where I was just trying to learn, you know? So I said I'd do 10 days on it. And I think at that point I realized it's going to take a lot of time for me to flesh it out to be more than what it is. So we decided to uh, try a new project. But yeah, uh, this was this was fun. I think I actually probably did a game jam. I think I did the crash jam. And then the crash jam meant that I didn't, uh, I started leaked. The next game we're about to look at. Yeah, yeah, and you're right. Like, it'd be fun maybe for me to try and just release every one of these games, like all the games we're playing today, to try and, if they're worth it, to just polish it a little bit or like remake it uh, and as a learning experience and to just sell it as a as a collection of my games. Uh, if I if I did into a good enough standard, you know, I think it'd be interesting. But uh, it, it would also be massively time consuming. But there we go. But making these in Unreal would actually be a learning experience for me. I, I'd find it quite uh, useful, I'd imagine. But yeah, I, like, I'm happy enough just... Uh, it, it's nice because it's not just match three. You have the time pressure. You have the balance of this. Uh, we need to assassinate the big boy up there. We'll poison uh, those who are waiting there. We need to put an ice block there. Push the big guy back. We're running out of health, though. Uh, you can also turn off your turret. I think that's what this button did, maybe. Yeah. Which uh, is... A <laughs> I don't know why why you did that. I can't remember why you would want to do that. There, there was a reason, but I can't remember. Ah, oh, Starpath. Starpath we're playing tonight as well. We're getting through them all. It's probably going to be like a stream till midnight tonight. Anyway, to avoid AHA2. Well, well, no, actually, at 1600, I think it is, isn't it? AHA2 is going to be have a monthly stream. So we should hopefully get something together one day soon. Okay, so, um, yeah, great. This is it. Uh, so this was Last Stand, anyway. And that's where the raid comes from. If you've noticed, when, when there's a raid to the channel, you get the, the little flag uh, with the little uh, Last Stand icon on it that's burning. And it says, boo! <laughs> that's when we made the raid message back then. So it's been the same for a very, not raid, like the raid welcome kind of thing. So, yeah. But yeah, that is Honest Dan's Last Stand. Uh, it was a good one. I, I really enjoyed it. And I got mocked by Uno Maestro, I believe it was, for my castle drawing skills. <laughs> Last stand. Can you not release games with the same title? Oh, and actually, Devious, yeah. That was why I always put on a stand before things. That was my plan when I started off, was instead of worrying about naming, if I just call everything Honest Dan's blah blah, then it works. <laughs> Uh, it was my marketing plot as well. 